and you're ready to test it. So I'm just going to use the same test setup that I have for this horn, which is just a quarter inch ball valve and a quick connect. In the end, I'm actually going to have a T connected to both of these horns, controlled by a ball valve, so that they can both blow at the same time. But your air system is totally up to you. It depends on your situation and what you want to do with them. Mine are going to be portable horns. So we're ready to test it now. Alright, so the way to tune your horn is to wait until all your neighbors are home so they can hear the obnoxious high-pitched squeak it makes when you tune it. So go ahead and connect it to your air compressor slash air source, whatever you're going to use. I'm only on about 40 PSI, so not full power, but it's good enough to test them. So open the valve, and if no sound comes, tighten down your bell tube a little bit because it's not seated up against the diaphragm yet. So test it again. Well, that was loud. Not tight enough. Tighten it a little bit more if it squeaks. Ow. A little bit more. A little bit more. I'm getting some overtones. A little bit tighter. So that's how you test it. Just keep adjusting this uh, tension on the front until it gets to the correct sound or the sound that you want, however you want it to sound. So my diaphragm actually got a little messed up. A little crease there because it wasn't cut right. So now I got to cut a new one. Alright, got a new diaphragm installed. It looks okay. So here are my two horns. I have them tuned to the correct tension to make the most sound. There you can see the diaphragms. And all that's left to do is attach my funnels to make the bells at the end. And that'll make them much louder. But here's what they sound like right now. This is only 40 PSI. So that's an A. that one's a C. Whatever tuning you use is up to you, but I'm personally going to do the augmented fourth because I only have two horns. Different tunings sound better when you have three horns or four or five all together, so. so now I gotta go pick up some funnels and clamp them on with some hose clamps, and then I'll show you what that looks like. So the last step for your horns is to attach the funnel to the end to make them louder. I got these funnels at Walmart for less than two bucks each and all you have to do to them is cut off the little end to make them fit over the half inch PVC pipe and then take a hose clamp and clamp them on so I didn't bother doing that part on video because it's pretty self-explanatory. So I've done that to both of my horns now. Over here you can see my manifold that I connected them together with. This is actually a four port manifold that I made for other horns. So I had to plug off this port and the opposite side port with some plugs. And then I used nipples to connect the horns on both sides. And then I have a quarter inch ball valve to control the airflow. Air source for right now is this five pound CO2 tank. There's only about 100 PSI in it, but I have it regulated down to 60 using that regulator. And keep in mind, this is going to be a portable setup. This is not intended for long-term uh, permanent use or anything like that. So um, it's not performing at its full potential, but it gets the job done for my purposes. And I plan on painting them, make them look a little bit nicer. But uh, 
Let's just give them a little test. You obviously won't be able to tell how loud they are in real life from the video, but this is just to give you an idea of what they sound like. So I'm just going to give them a quick little blow. I am only on about 55 PSI, so pretty low pressure. Let's see what they sound like. Pretty good. A little bit more pressure, they sound a little bit better, I bet, but my regulator is limited to 60 PSI. So I encourage you to use a little bit more than that. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope this inspires you to make your own horns. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment. I'll be glad to help you out. And I hope to hear from those of you who go on to build your own horns. So good luck to you. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.